What nasty secrets are lying beneath the waves off the coast of California? In World War II, a miracle pesticide was invented that saved the lives of millions and millions of soldiers. It kept the nasty bugs away, the mosquitoes, the disease-carrying ticks and scabers and scabsters, and the nasty itch hoppers and the clamp biters. It kept them all away, and it kept those soldiers safe. It was called DDT, the Miracle Pesticide Chemical, Life-Saving Chemical. Tens of thousands of barrels of the stuff were manufactured and processed and sent on over to help the war efforts. But then later, the war was over, and we had all these barrels of pesticides that we had to get rid of. They were just taking up space. So we take them out to the middle of the ocean and dump them down where no one can see. The men would boat them the barrels out to a spot of remote ocean near Catalina Island. Uh, where they would dump them into the ocean. Sometimes the barrels weren't heavy enough to sink, so the boatmen would puncture a big hole in the barrel and let the water in so it would sink right down to the bottom, where it can be safely disposed of for years to come. Sometimes the boatsters would just dump them closer to shore because it saved time and it was easier. So there's no telling how many of these barrels are still there, just sitting there right there where people are swimming, where the fish are swimming, seeping out that pesticide, that miracle chemical, the life-saving chemical, DDT. Now, it's the future, and we've learned a thing or two about TDT. It's actually not the best thing to put into the soil and sand and waters of the earth. It's, it's a killing chemical, so it does a lot of that. Um, so now we're pretty regretful about our great plan to just dump it out into the ocean where it can be safely diluted into the ocean water. That was kind of a big boner, don't you think? That was a big blunder on our part. So what are we going to do with all these barrels of DDT just sitting there underwater? Well, some great thinkers of our time have devised a plan. We should take all of the barrels of DDT off the coast of California and give them to Joe. Joe is a trustworthy man. He is a real stand-up fellow. He believes in the integrity and the autonomy of humankind. And he and you can trust him to deal with these barrels and take them onto his own shoulders. And he will carry the burden of humanity's mistakes. Give the barrels to Joe. It would be that simple. You can reach down in there, pick up all the barrels, and give them on over to Joe. Joe will take care of those barrels for you. He'll haul them off for you, and he'll take them, and they'll belong to him. And then it won't be our problem anymore. They'll be Joe's barrels. Sign the petition today. Environmental Protection Agency, remove the DDT barrels from the California coast and give them to Joe. We've got 278 signers as of right now, and we need your signatures.
to get this problem all sorted out and get these barrels to Joe. Give the toxic barrels of polluted waste to Joe. We all know Joe. We all trust him. We all love him. Joe. Joe can take care of those barrels for you. He'll haul them right off for you. He'll take them away. Joe's got to come get those barrels. Hey, don't you even worry about that. Give the toxic barrels to Joe. This is a solution that will help but better the environment. Give those barrels to Joe. He'll know what to do with them. Give the thousands and thousands of barrels of toxic DDT pesticides that are littered and dumped into the ocean floor off the coast of California. Give them to Joe. Thanks, everybody. This message is brought to you by the Flit Gun. When you've got bugs that just won't quit, you gotta get a flit. You gotta get that flit gun.